Give it up for Hawk and Wayne. Uh, that's Ricky Wayne. This is Gavin Hawk. We're Hawk and Wayne. Thanks for coming out. We're going to be doing a format tonight uh, called It's a Living. And uh, to get us started, we need a real place that you work. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Thank you. Do is uh, what, what is it a coupon for? Uh, okay, this is one buy one chicken salad. Buy one chicken salad. And chocolate and milk. Chocolate milk. Does it have to be a chocolate milk? Yeah, it has to be a chocolate milk. <laughs> Cannot be uh, the plain kind. Plain milk. Right. <laughs> plain milk is the PLN button on there. Okay. And you want the chocolate milk? It's the CH. This is so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> It's got an umlaut on top of it. Uh, it's a Swedish company that we yeah. bought the, uh, the, the machine the from. Yeah, yeah, I was wondering about that. Right, so, so, so some of the word letters are a little sweet. Okay, yeah. C-H. Yeah, you just want to punch that, that in, and you got to enter your employee <laughs> code. Okay, right. right. Shit, I never know my employee code. Uh, two, 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 uh, two, two, nine. That's my social. Right. Uh, <laughs> well, that's, that's the second step, so oh, okay. retain so, that. Like, oh, no, I, I remember it. I remember it. Yeah. Okay. Got that? I'm, I'm halfway through. Hold okay. <laughs> Almost there? Nope. 80%? And I'm there. Okay, good. good. Now social. This Mother's work. maiden name is next. <laughs> uh, there you go. Good. And then the blood. Okay, so did, blood, did, did blood you just my finger? There's an X right there. It's Ow! Right. And then I can never get used to it. I know. It's, I just, you wait for it to come, and then, then it just, ah! And then, <laughs> but you know it's coming. And exactly. You'd think by now I'd be used to it. I know. Here comes the eye thing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Red. It's going to be a sharp needle <laughs> right towards your pupil. Oh, God, that's uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. The, the eye is the fastest healing one. It feels uncomfortable. Yeah, it's, it's, going to, it's going to pinch a little bit. Whoa, okay. okay. I think I'm good. All right, good. Now you can finally process that coupon. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh, everything you just told me. Uh, look, let's start C it all again. So, <laughs> all right. So you want to do ch ch minus uh, <laughs> minus the the uh, minus the milk minus the milk, the milk. Is free chocolate milk, not the okay, right, not the vanilla. Uh -huh. Good. And there you get a kid's toy out of that too. Okay. So and then I start. ask if it's a if it's a male or a female. Let me do that now. Right. Uh, is the toy for a male or a female, ma'am? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, it's for a male. Okay, that's, uh, that's going to be the mini Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing, is this the New Testament or the Old Testament? Okay. Uh, we just give them the new. The new, just the new one. Well, they, it's got the new and the new new. Yeah. <laughs> well, and God is so much more open and loving in the, in the New Amen. Testament. You know, very vengeful at the first. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And you I gotta end God with a comma, not a period. You exactly. Yeah. <laughs> a comma. It's continuing on. We don't know. Tell us the goats on that. One. <laughs> you know, I was talking to the guy who runs the entire Chick Fil A. Yeah. You know him, Mr. Chick. Yeah. <laughs> he's super, by the way. Love him. He's, he's writing his own Bible. Here, kid. No, I couldn't get you not. Can you tell me to hold on for a second? Yeah. Ma'am, can you hold on one second? We're having some issues back here with the chickens, and uh, uh, they just, they just they are, they're very angry. At very us. angry <laughs> because we're about to kill them and uh, <laughs> fry them in a minute. And fry them, and, and they don't understand it. And uh, <laughs> so just give us a second. Yeah. 
Anyway, so yeah, so uh, he's coming up with a new one. Uh -huh. A new Bible. It's going to be really fun. That's awesome. Well, I mean, you know, uh, if I was writing a Bible, I mean, I would probably put a lot of things in there about, like, how to make chicken. And <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, that's all going to be in there. Recipes, what have you. No gays. You know, <laughs> that kind of thing is in there as well. Don't, you know, Good make stuff. sure you burn a cow on the right. third Sunday of the month. That yeah. type you of don't stuff. eat on Sundays, ever. Ever. <laughs> if Chick-fil-A is closed, everything is going to be closed. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> you are basically... <laughs> 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 totally. We don't like that. Oh. oh. I wasn't aware so of that. Just, oh. What we like to say is fudged. Oh. It's <laughs> a little cleaner. You still get the implication of what you're saying. Oh, okay. Fuck, I'm sorry. No! <laughs> <laughs> just it slipped out again. Did you realize what? that? The F bomb slipped out again. Oh, fuck it, dude. It just slipped <laughs> out one more time. Oh, shit! Oh, oh yeah, shoot! That's the other one, yeah. Fudge! Uh, actually, shit, we like to say cantaloupe. Cantaloupe! There you go. <laughs> so I'll know if you're like, what the cantaloupe is going on here? I know what you're really saying. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, so yeah, you Alright. And I just put the coupon in there. What do I do? Just close the drawer after oh, yeah, you just want to close it. What do I do? Just push it or just give it a nudge. You want to nudge it in my okay. I'm worried about it. You're tapping more right now, you want to nudge. <laughs> That's a bit too tappy. <laughs> Nudge it in. It's going to pop right back out at you if you don't do it the right way. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Spring loaded. Okay. How was that? That was good. That. All right. So if you want to send her through, she's got to get her eye rectal exam. Eye rectal exam, ma'am. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, put your retina right up to the. Right up to. I know! What is <laughs> with these people? Man, no, you'll see, uh, it's a chin harness. Just put your chin on. <laughs> right. No, that's for your forehead. Tell her she has to position her posterior Lean in the all, opposite direction. Man, have you the ever been to the optometrist? Ever been to the edge? Right. Just right. like that, except there's no, there's no just Let like box. Hey, mm -hmm. listen to me, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I, I broke my own rule. Fudging <laughs> idiot. And listen Lugging to me, idiot. you fudging cantaloupe. <laughs> Look, we don't give out our chickens to just, you know, any moron from the Kansas State area who likes the Royals. I don't know where I'm going. I'm angry, Dave. All right, listen to this, cantaloupe. You go to church? Huh? No, you don't go to church? Well, we can't help you then. Why don't you take your food service needs somewhere else? Ass white. I mean, cantaloupe white. Yes. Love you. Love you too, man. <laughs> 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 so many Bibles. <laughs> 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 yeah. This is happening. What? This? Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't think the same thing's happening with me that's happening with you, though. Oh, <laughs> You don't feel this? Uh, this heat? There's a lot of heat coming from my armpits. <laughs> so you're right here with Friolator, so you oh, want to, yeah, probably back up. Darn it, I didn't even realize that. Uh, now do you feel heat over here? A little bit, but listen, I'm not, uh, I, I don't swing. Uh, my chicken doesn't go in that batter, so. <laughs> yeah, don't put those crisp cut fries on that, in that, you know, in that container. <laughs> You know, there's a reason we don't put sauce on any of our sandwiches. I have a feeling you're going to make some sort of homosexual joke. No, no, I'm not, actually. It was, there really is a legitimate reason? Yeah, we were afraid of people getting allergic to mustard. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you at the softball. <laughs> Thank you. Can we get another suggestion? Another real place that you work. Oh, you I heard hospital first. first. I heard hospital first. You go hospital? What's the name of this hospital? St. Judas. St. Judas. St. Judas. Judas. <laughs> Not a real hospital. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> After my first lap band surgery, I 
I said, this is it, right. And then I went on Team Beachbody. You did? I started that. How yeah. was it? Incredible. Really? I didn't lose any weight, but I got to see a lot of hot chicks uh, work out on my DVD player. I just coupled it up with my masturbation session for that night. <laughs> You gotta really work up to it, you know. You gotta work up to a workout, I say. <laughs> I'm on the stairmaster. I do about one stair at this point. I've been working on that for several. Gotta weeks. work up to it. It I wins me. It. Yeah, it wins me something fierce. Wins you something fierce. That's very uh, 1800s speak. Yeah, I uh, have a lot of family that was in the 1800s. <laughs> so, well, I was adopted, so I don't really know where my family is. Really? Got to tell. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that all of my family had glandular issues. <laughs> you look Mongolian, I was going to say. Is there any Mongolian in you? Uh, probably. Yeah, you think so? I have Mongolian tendencies when I think. <laughs> Like you just want to take over <laughs> nations. Yeah. <laughs> Cook things that I shouldn't be cooking. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Buying things raw and just like lighting up a flame and you know, just seeing really what happens. Seeing what happens. Yeah. <laughs> you ever go into a restaurant and expect the Mongolian experience, but not they don't actually have the Mongolian. They get so irritated when you ask for an open flame on your table and for the raw meat to come out and for them to allow you to cook it. It's the, let me cook my own meat. Excuse me, but I know something about meat. I'm Mongolian, for fuck's sake. Exactly. <laughs> At least we think you we are. We think we are. <laughs> so the lap band. Yeah. I went through it as well. Now, originally, they had to find us on <laughs> Is that gastric fluid? Yes, <laughs> gastric. You don't know what this is? No. You don't recognize this? No. I'm surprised. Uh-huh. Oh shit, it's happening to me! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Just think about it. Four legs. A 
eight arms. One lap band. I'm <laughs> terrible with math. <laughs> 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 That's how I smoke, right? I'm not gonna apologize. <laughs> I can't, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I thought I was the only one that. Me? 
Yeah. What about <laughs> mundane things like sitting down in the chair? Do that too. Really? Bro. It's awesome. Right. Con. It's awesome. And I want to do it more. Both of those seem like pros. One of them is con, trust me. <laughs> One time I was fused to my, uh, my couch. I was in it for so long. My, my, my skin actually grafted to it. Yes, that has happened to me. Very painful. Oh, absolutely. And it's hard to find plaid suits. Let me tell you, when that plaid fabric from my couch melted with my back, and I had to walk around with a couch attached to my back. Do you know how hard it was to find a suit that would match? Do I know? Yes, of course I know. I think we should start a company, Pinstripe Couches, for people who eventually will meld with their couches. And that way it'll be a lot easier. You accept it ahead of time. You're, you know, you know you're planning for it. Someday your skin will be fused with the nylon in this couch from bacteria and gangrene setting in. Absolutely, you get a nice company to make it, like a Hugo Boss, mm -hmm. and you're in business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see this picture of this guy before and after? Yeah. That's him when he's really fat, and that's him when he's skinny. Hold on one second. <laughs> oh yeah! You get my telescope. Yep. He looks good. I like how you have a pirate telescope. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. You ever seen a fat pirate before? Why is that? Hello. <laughs> I can be a swashbuckler too. Absolutely. Shh. I mean, does scurvy make you lose weight? I don't think so. No, not in my book. Last time I checked, scurvy.net. <laughs> nice sword, by the way. Thank you. Before and after. Mm. I like him before. <laughs> Me too. He's got that. He's got the Al Roker syndrome. He really does. He just looks better fat. He really does. He really does. He really does. His head circumference. He looks like a lollipop now. <laughs> like I just want to eat him. <laughs> Actually, you look pretty delicious. <laughs> No, seriously, you're like, you're like a cartoon right now for me, like you're, you're switching into a giant ham hock. <laughs> you want a payday? <laughs> Are you referring to the candy bar or money? <laughs> no, I mean you want a payday. <laughs> Are you asking if I want to eat you? <laughs> Then the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> what should I nibble on? Oh. Just pick a roll. <laughs> Whatever you like, my friend. Are you it's sure a this buffet. is a All right. It's a smorgasbord. <laughs> You're gonna really. I, I want you to fully commit to this and actually follow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's, that's actually... Oh, 
Yes. A morn. <laughs> <laughs> Deceased has uh, several bullet holes in the upper part of the body. And there's also a bullet hole on the right little thigh. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> looks like, from what I can tell, the deceased uh, had some drug use. We have some needle marks on the arms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, tramp stamp. Tramp stamp on the back of a guy named Tony with wings on the bottom part of the back. And Saucy. So, is this your brother? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> he is shot up. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I'm smiling. I was gonna, that was my next step. Yeah, I was to think so. It's probably also unusual for you to actually have somebody want to be in on the autopsy. <laughs> I've never really experienced that before, but uh, hold on one second. Sure. Uh, brother of uh, the deceased has asked if uh, he could participate in uh, asking me why he might be smiling. And I'm having a super time, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're enjoying having you. And, and you're, where are you from originally? Uh, I'm Boise. <laughs> Boise, now, does it snow up there? Uh, it does. You do get a little bit of snow. I yes. did not know that. Yes. I did not. <laughs> I did not know that. It's a fun place to be. Uh, the, the people are nice. The air is clean. Uh, you can kill a brother. Really, it's good killing brother weather up there. <laughs> How do you feel about Boise? Oh, he can't talk. That's a, a car. That's, a cada that's some cadaver humor. That's a car game. I love this webcam setup. Yeah, well, you know, we got everything all set up there mm -hmm. so you can see the body in different parts and, uh, cool. you know, well, underneath. That's where all the different cameras are yeah. all around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I set this, whole, set this whole, well, when I went into private practice uh, to have my own morgue, Sure. Uh, I was outsourcing for the police department and things gotcha. like that. Yeah. And I had to fight them to really allow me to have it in my basement. Uh -huh. okay. And uh, you got to get a license and things, which oh, I don't yeah. have yet. Yeah. And and uh, I, the, the bodies, unfortunately, I do have to, to get a volunteer like you. Right. So to come in. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so what uh, what's the game? How does the game work? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering when you were going to ask me that. I'll tell you how the game works. I figured it's kind of like operation. But I get to dig the bullets out. Fuck you, Ben. <laughs> The game works exactly like that. No, literally, it is actually. It's actually that. Operation. I am a franchise, Milton Bradley. <laughs> I'm, I'm franchised by you, so I am actually allowed to allow you to uh, go ahead and come over. It'll shock me? It will shock you. <laughs> but the shock will be more me just screaming in your ear. Oh. <laughs> Not so much a, a shock shock. So more of like a war trauma shock. Yeah, well, let's just try it. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Just right. uh, grab those tweezers there. The ones attached to this little wire? Yeah, the ones attached to the wire. Uh huh. I see my brother has a light bulb on his nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we like to get a little detail. <laughs> now, Yeah, touch the end. That's a lot. Now, I got a bullet. Good job, you. Thank you. 
you. Now, one thing I wanted to tell you is that that cord that's attached to the bottom, not only uh, is it me shocking you, but it's attached to, uh, I believe it's your mother. Oh! <laughs> yeah, there are, are nodes on her, all over her body. Can so she uh, see us right now? She's unconscious. Oh. <laughs> But uh, when you shock, you know, it will hurt her as well. Oh, okay. She could die from it. Kind of like that milligram experiment. Yeah. Not familiar with milligram. <laughs> milligram experiment. Oh, you said milligram. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I have a speech it impediment. Oh. It's an odd speech impediment. <laughs> add, 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 add syllables. Add syllables. <laughs> add syllables. <laughs> I can understand. Well, that. the Milgram experiment was a 50s experiment, see, where people were brought into a room and they were told under no given circumstances that they must absolutely. Did you, it's something on your cheek. I have some blood? For real, yeah. Oh, okay. Your cheek, blood? Just hold it off. Oh, good. Yeah, there's a little piece of. Just something. some little bit of brain no. or something. Bullet shrapnel sure. from when you killed your brother in cold blood? <laughs> well, so anyway, the Milgram experiment brought people into a room. They were told that they basically had to uh, uh, ask a series of questions every time the Go into a lot you. of detail. Yeah, I'm going to tell you a long story here. You want to sit? No, please. I'm going to keep talking like you're right here, though. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> Like they have to shock people if the people get the question wrong. And inevitably, somebody gets it wrong. And then they gotta buzz it. And when they buzz, the person is supposed to be on the other side getting electrocuted. And they're screaming, and the people say, hey, is this normal? And you know, somebody says, continue with the experiment. That's all they say, continue with the experiment. And people just continue. And it just shows you, like the Nazis were, like basically how people are just conditioned to respond to authority. Whatever it is that's yeah, happening at, absolutely. That, at that moment. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so I was wondering if this was similar to me shocking my mother. <laughs> and I would really appreciate some eyes to talk to at this point. I'm here! Okay! Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See? Now you know that's the wishbone. I know. <laughs> That's uh, that's a really tough one because there's three prongs on it, and you gotta go through three separate chest care cavity areas. This is a really long, drawn out. This is good. <laughs> Up, you touch the sides. <laughs> so you have to put it back. <laughs> oh, walk please. Sorry, have I upset you? I like you, you mean. You're mean. You are. You are. You're the you're the jerk creep bum. You jerk water city. You, all the water is made out of jerk. Like you. You're Mayor Jerkinville. Your 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 parents probably came over on the jerk boat. Boat. <laughs> You're from the jerk flower. <laughs> there was the jerk of Patina. They landed on jerk rock. <laughs> jerk rock didn't land on them. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, the opposite of that. <laughs> then they made jerk. What? You were, I'm just out staring you. I'll stare you back. I'll, I'll jerk you in a heartbeat. <laughs> you come from the jerk dynasty. Very ancient. And there's a lot of tradition and culture in it. <laughs> It's really quite beautiful when you <laughs> examine it in history books. You yep. imagine the centuries of jerks that just <laughs> lived through the years. You, you work for a secret government agency that, that just investigates jerks and, and how they operate and whether or not they can go into space and, 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 and if they can ever be president and shit. Who shot the first jerk? That's a conspiracy. That's who you work for. You're the director. 
of it, like the guy from that sings the Broadway musicals in Homeland. You're, you run a 501c3 nonprofit for jerks. <laughs> it's a series of charity events that you have to put together, galas and balls, in order to get money to help jerks out like you, jerk. The apocalypse has happened, and, and the United States has fallen apart, and you start to rebuild the city, and the first thing you call it is Jerk City! <laughs> There's a, an army of jerks that have just been jerked out and they're like, I'm approaching my town and they're all, and we have to. That's very, those are my jerks. Band of, of people and who we're are gonna get into your city. Less jerky than Take you. Take it over because we need food, man, and water. We've been traveling for days. And we have to set up a series of buses outside of the town and stand on top of those buses and pick you jerks off. One by one. That's right. And, but we don't fall because we're actually zombies. Yeah. And jerk, jerk zombies. <laughs> you can do the thigh bone next. <laughs> That's our show.